hello and welcome to my rundown of San Diego Comic Con 2011, uh, day one. I noticed that there's no definitive source for all the major news updates coming out of Comic Con. There's a hundred websites and they're all giving you different updates and different takes on different panels and it there's they're not comprehensive so this this is going to be the definitive guide out of the whole internet to the san diego comic-con 2011 i am not a comic-con i'm not in san diego i am in glendale california in my apartment and uh these updates will be going up s probably several days after the, the the actual days that I'm covering, but uh, movies. They're making a sequel to the prequel. It's a it's a sequel to the prequel, X Men Origins Wolverine. So it's like Wolverine two, uh, but it's just called the Wolverine. Uh, so Hugh Jackman said that the villain is gonna be the Silver Samurai. Uh, I, I didn't know who the Silver Samurai was. Apparently he's a, a mutant with the, the power to charge objects so that, like, his, his katana blade can cut through, uh, almost anything, uh, except adamantium. It seems like Wolverine can probably handle that situation. It's, and, like, it takes place before, like, all of the, this, all of this takes place before the first X-Men movie. So... We know that Wolverine is going to be fine. There's no suspense to this story at all, which is appropriate, uh, given that this is uh, written by the guy who also wrote Valkyrie. Robert Rodriguez says there's going to be a sequel to Sin City and two sequels to Machete. And one of them, Machete is going to be in outer space, and his, uh, his Machete will be like a lightsaber. Wait, what? Is he joking? Is he joking? The Avengers got a new website and a new teaser poster. Uh, the poster is just the, the letter A, it's a, just the symbol of the Avengers. It's just a picture of, the, of a letter. But I bet when a, a crowd of nerds saw it, they probably cheered. Because, uh, like, nerds cheer at everything. Get a bunch of nerds together and show them something that they saw once in a comic book. They will cheer the way people cheered for Martin Luther King. The release date for the new Superman movie was pushed from uh, December 2012 to June 2013. That's probably a good idea. Let Zack Snyder get an extra six months to come up with uh, some more cool slow motion scenes. TV. So there was a Beavis and Butthead panel because... They're bringing it back. They made new episodes, and it lo it looks the exact same. They they showed footage of it. That footage is online. You can see you can see some new footage of Beavis and Butthead. This is it is not news. I'm just telling you that this happened. And they revealed the full list of people who will guest star on Psych in season six. Psych is a uh, just this funny detective show on USA. And there's a lot of big names guest starring in season six. But the one the one name that stood out for me was Jaleel White. When I was a kid, there was this thing called TGIF, which was a block of uh, sitcoms that they showed on ABC on Friday nights. This is what people looked forward to. You got through your shitty week because you knew that Urkel was waiting for you at the end of it. And now today, it's like, I'm, I'm lost. Fridays, I'm at work, and I'm, I'm thinking, like, what, what am I doing this for? Because I'm going to come home, and Urkel's not waiting for me anymore. I, f I feel like there's, I have a lot of problems that, like, I need to deal with now. Just because I can't just sit down and watch Urkel, and that's, like, really sad and, like, it's scary... But I, what I do know is I will, I will watch the uh, season six episode of Psych uh, that guest stars Jaleel White. 
video games. Um, there was a, they. I think there was a lot of panels about a lot of different video games. I don't really know what you know what was said or what happened. I I'm not I'm not at Comic Con. I'm just in my apartment. They did reveal that uh, Batman Arkham City will have Talia Al Ghul and the Penguin, and they showed a trailer that showed uh, Batman fighting the Penguin. Uh, now people can't wait to play it because it looks really exciting. Everyone's really excited to play it. Toys. Yes, there was toy news at Comic-Con. Hasbro showed a bunch of uh, new Transformers toys, but like, who gives a shit? Lego is going to release a bunch of DC and Marvel play sets. Unfortunately, not a lot of kids are going to get to play with them because Legos are the most expensive thing in the world. Why are Legos so expensive? It's, it's plastic bricks. And the, the thing you build doesn't look that good anyway. It looks like plastic bricks in the shape of the thing you just built. And the only, the only thing you can reasonably afford is the little tiny sets that don't come with, like, any pieces. God help you if you want to buy, like, a Lego house. You're going to have to take out a fucking mortgage on it. And there was one more category. What was it? Oh, yeah. Comic books. The, well, the one big thing that... Uh, DC Comics has done this year is they're going to reboot all their comic books. Every comic book they have is going to start over at issue number one. Uh, comic book fans don't really like this idea because it's just confusing and pointless and it's a stunt that prevents them from celebrating their real milestones. And eventually it's just going to go back to the old numbering system and everything will be all fucked up. But, but the guys who work at DC, uh, they think it's going to be an exciting thing to attract new comic book readers. Because if you don't read comic books and you hear f from, I don't know where the fuck you would hear this, but you hear all the, new, all the DC comic books are going back to number one, are you going to start collecting comic books? Is that what was uh, preventing you from collecting comic books before? That there was a high number on the cover? They're the same books! But they're taking this opportunity to kind of uh, streamline certain titles and make them more accessible and just kind of do fresh new things with them. So, some of the things that were revealed... Grant Morrison says he has a 16-issue run planned for Action Comics and that it will be better than All-Star Superman which doesn't make any sense because All-Star Superman was like the best comic book series ever. So I don't see how he could make a new one that's better than All-Star Superman. Maybe he was mistaken. Is it possible that Grant Morrison would be fallible? This this just doesn't this doesn't add up. Superman has a new costume and people don't like it. I mean, there's a long history of people fucking with Superman's costume. Every time a new creator comes on, so you know, occasionally they'll they'll make a little or big change. And uh, what always happens is eventually Superman's costume always changes back to how it's supposed to be. The problem is they they just need to kind of stop fucking with it because. Superman's costume, su Superman's appearance is m very iconic, more so than any other character. Like, you you could fuck with Batman's costume. Pretty much any time someone takes over for Batman, they change the costume. There's been a billion uh, versions of s Batman's costume. I feel like it's never been the same, and nobody gives a shit. But Superman, I don't care what story you're telling... Stop changing the costume. They took away his, his red trunks. Is, is, that, is that helping? Did that help the book? Are, are things finally falling into place now for Superman now that he's not wearing his red trunks, you fucking idiots? 
another thing is uh, Superman and Lois Lane got married in like 1996 and they they've been married in the comic books for like 15 years but now with the uh, with the reboot they've decided that they're not going to be married anymore like they, they didn't get divorced or anything they're just the marriage never happened so they're just they're both they're both still single and Lois Lane has a new boyfriend I mean I kind of like the idea because it's kind of nice to have the whole cutesy thing of like you know Lois Lane likes Superman and Superman likes Lois Lane but to have Lois Lane just be fucking this guy is kind of disturbing and sad because like Superman can see and hear everything and she's just fucking this guy and like who is he she's fucking him also Archie is going to meet Kiss I guess Archie has this history in Archie comics where just he meets people like I feel like he met the Ninja Turtles once I would always see the cover for uh, Archie meets the Punisher and like the Punisher is this uh, Marvel war veteran whose uh, entire family was massacred so you now he lives in the sewers and he hunts like gangsters and criminals and he murders them and I guess he went to Riverdale and he met Archie but now Archie's gonna meet the rock band Kiss and I guess they're gonna fight aliens or something I don't know also Archie comics recently introduced their first openly gay character a guy named Kevin Keller and he's getting his own series and his creator says that he will be in a committed relationship and that there's marriage talk. Yeah, good luck with that. Because I've been reading Archie comics since I was a kid. And I don't remember any gay characters hanging around Riverdale. Unless one of the other characters uh, comes out as gay. Like uh, Moose. Moose could be gay. Dilton could be, could be gay. Or maybe Reggie. Reggie being gay would be interesting. Because I imagine him being very ashamed. Are you fucking looking at me? I, I'm not a fucking fag. The only person who's got a problem with him being gay is himself. And, like, Jughead could totally be bi. I guess the most interesting thing would be if Archie uh, experimented with being gay. Because that would really piss off Betty and Veronica. And then you have the comedy of it. Alright, uh, I hope you liked my uh, rundown of San Diego Comic Con 2011, day one. Uh, stay tuned for day two. And I guess just uh, uh, like this video or, or, or uh, favorite it or follow it. I don't know what I don't know what you do. Whatever the fuck you do on YouTube, do that to this video so make it like get a lot of hits and go viral. And maybe I'll get that money like that guy who like doped up his kid at the dentist and put him on YouTube and, and got a bunch of money. So that's that'd be nice. Give me that. Thank you.